Speaking today, Joyce. Making trouble. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Always. No. Anyway, I'm making um, a lot of like Christmas gifts. I'm just making um, different dressing for different people. This is a um, ginger scallion dressing. It's very Chinese. You, you can put it with steamed fish, chicken. Then, you know, you have seen my um, video on ginger juice. This is, this is the same way I'm grating ginger juice, right? Then I'm going to add something to it. It's the scallion. I clean the scallion. Peel off the, the, the outside um, layers, you know, like, like this. I cut out the, um, the root and then I'm gonna basically chop it. That's a lot of ginger. Well, you know, when you cook it, it cooks down. And then the, I think it should be like um, two to one, two ginger to a portion of uh, green uh, scallion. And I just cut it like thin, right? And then you basically want the flavor to come out and Colvin wants some. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you haven't met a sauce you don't like, right? Basically, after you, you just rub chop it, you can use the back of the knife to sort of break it down a little bit. Oh, I never used the back of the knife. Yeah, but don't do it like this. <laughs> you know, I don't want it mint. I can cook it. When I cook it, it might be flashing. And I'm going to pour out this juice and I can save it for marinating meat. Quite a bit of oil, okay? What kind of oil is that? Any vegetable oil will be fine. Peanut, peanut oil, you know, you heat it up. I'm going, to, I'm going to put a little bit in. I sort of want to cool down the oil. And I'm going to put a lot in. And I'm going to put everything in. Can I How hot? long do you cook it for? Um, until, sort of, until it's sort of semi-translucent. When you're adding... Um, extra oil, always put a little well. The smart thing that I pour some some juice because it's not splashing it. You know, Why need more oil? Because it looks like it, it should be shiny, but it's not, you know. When it gets hot, then you start turning it around. So you don't need to cover it? No, because I, I don't want it to turn brown. I'm not going to put salt in it until it's almost done. So you can see that the ginger turned a little bit more translucent instead of the solid yellow color. That means it's more cooked ginger. Usually I don't take out the ginger because the part is sort of small for the, to put all the scallion in it. I'm going to turn it off, take out the ginger, and then cook the scallion and mix it together, okay? It smells really good. How many ginger is that? Um, I think I got a pound and a half. Wow. The scallion is going to cook down more than the ginger because the proportion is about two to one. If you like scallion, you can put more scallion in it. How long do you cook it for? Not long, two, three minutes. You don't want to cook it too long because it becomes yellow. It doesn't look, it's not pretty, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to add the ginger back in. Make sure you put salt. The salt more like a preservative, you know? Enough the salt. And, you know, now put salt. It took quite a bit of salt. Whoa! It's a condiment. <laughs> okay? I like teeth two, two tablespoons. For this much, it's not a lot. And I'm going to turn it off and then mix it. Because that's done. Then I don't put a jar, I don't put it in a jar until it cools down. Because I don't want to crack the jar. This is really hot, you know? And that's it. It's pretty too, right? That smells good. I'm still stirring it because I don't want, because the pot is really hot. I don't want to stop, then, then uh, the bottom become brown. It's not supposed to be brown. 